it's Sam. So I'm gonna do a new products. I have been sent a bunch of new stuff lately. I've bought a few products lately and I figured last time you guys enjoyed the video so I would just show you kind of like what's going on in the makeup world, what things are, are coming out that I have been sent. So the first things are the, whoopsie, Urban Decay Vice lipsticks, which I already have a video about, which will already have probably been out by the time you guys see this. So there's new Vice lipsticks. There's also new uh, lip liners, which look, whoa, I'm falling off my chair. Look like this. Nope, not that one. This. But I will link that video down below because I swash them all and I do more in-depth review. Um, next, I actually went and bought this from Sephora. This is the Setting Mist with Rosemary from Supergoop. This is a sunscreen setting mist that mattifies your skin. So if you are oily and you get greasy throughout the day and you're like, oh, I'm sick of these little papers, this instantly gets rid of all your grease. It's SPF 50 and it, it is a setting spray. So it's amazing. I love it so far. I'm super obsessed. I also picked up the Lancome Seals Booster XL Primer and the Hypnostrama Mascara from Sephora. And then I picked up something else. What was it? Oh, this, the Murad Skin Smoothing Polish. This I used to use all the time, and then I went to the Dermalogica, but I feel like my skin was way better when I was using this. So I've gone back to this, and we, we shall see. I've only had it like a couple days, so I'll let you guys know. But my skin was really good when I was using this, so I'm trying to go back to what I was using when my skin was really good. Too Faced sent me the most amazing package of life. So let me show you. It looked like this and it says Too Faced Passport to Bronze and it's got the, these little mermaids on it. And then you open it up ah, ah, and it's like all these mermaids and it's all of these amazing bronzers. I was so excited when I got this box guys because you guys know that I really love Too Faced and I want them to be my best friend in life because they're amazing and their packaging is so cute and I feel like we're just like besties but they don't know it yet. So inside of it was some Too Faced and Key Australia sunglasses with this adorable case which are so unbelievably adorable. So that was super exciting. And then they sent like tons of bronzers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you like, look how cute all of these are. They're all in such like beautiful packaging. So they sent me the Sun Bunny, which I've actually been loving lately. This one looks like this, and this one is described as, they say this is Los Angeles, and it's a naturally radiant bronze. So that is what Sun Bunny looks like. And then we have Snow Bunny, which is described as Whistler, Canada. And this is a luminous winter bronze. Ooh, that's pretty. So it's got kind of pink and white and bronze and then a kind of a nude color. Then we have Beach Bunny, which is described as Sydney, Australia. And this is a deep luminous bronze. So it's kind of got those like kind of more peachy, kind of bronzy shades. Then we have Pink Leopard, which is Barcelona. I know nothing about Barcelona. That's not actually being mean, it's a quote. This is a sexy and sultry blushing bronzer. So it's got that little bit of kind of like leopard pink in there. Next is the dark chocolate Soleil. This is Rio de Janeiro. This is a sun-kissed cocoa infused matte. And that's what it looks like. So it's just a nice kind of chocolatey brown. And that just have no shimmer. Then we have milk chocolate Soleil. Milk chocolate is Hawaii. And this is a tropically tanned cocoa infused matte. And these ones smell like chocolate. They're delicious. I just want to eat them. Maybe I'm actually, I feel like I'm going to go buy like a big chocolate bar today. That's going to help my zits, I'm sure. Do you ever feel like you just need chocolate in your life? I've been so stressed out. Like, I just want to eat a whole entire, I just want to eat my weight in chocolate. This one is called um, Chocolate Soleil. This is a sexy and sculpted cocoa infused matte. This is Caribbean. They have like, these are like the mermaids. The mermaids are like where they're from. So this girl who wears this one is from the Caribbean. So you can see it's just like a really, so let me just show you the chocolate, the milk chocolate and the dark chocolate so that you guys can see the difference. So this one on the end is chocolate. So this is chocolate, this is milk chocolate and this is dark chocolate. So you can see the difference. So just basically depending on your skin tone, what you would go for but they're all matte. 
And then last but not least, they sent me the Too Faced Sweet Tea, which I actually already have and I use it on the daily. So I'll just show you the one that I already have that is open. But isn't that gorgeous? It's a little heart and it's like this shimmery, beautiful brown. And this is described as a romantic lit from within glow, which I completely agree. And this is Paris. Paris. So I wear this every day. I love it. It's so beautiful if you have acne scars because it doesn't get stuck on them and make them look all cruddy. It just amazing, like no harsh lines. This brand I've never heard of before. This is called, um, what is it called? In Light. Hmm. I'm going to have to look up where you can find these. This is the Enlight Super Face Scrub and Glow. This is supposed to retexturize the complexion, polish away dead skin cells, brighten the appearance of dark spots. So I'm actually super excited. It has lactic acid, chamomile, and vitamins A, C, and E. Oh, wow, this is such cool packaging. Oh my god, how cool is that packaging, guys? That is like super, super snazzy. And then you just... Oh god, I hope I'm opening it right. Oh, maybe I'm not. Oh, yes, I am. Wow, that's so cool. I love the packaging. That is like really fancy. I feel like it would look really pretty on your counter. Because, <laughs> you know, I only buy products that look good on my counter. This doesn't matter if they're good on my face. Okay, that's really cool. I love that. And I'm super excited to try it because I feel like I need that for my skin. Okay, this is the Enlight Super Face Clay Time Purifying Deep Cleansing Treatment Mask. Another one for me. It cools stressed out skin, aka me. Exfoliates and purifies and deep cleans. It has active charcoal, glycolic acid, and eucalyptus oil, and it also has oatmeal in it. So that's what the box looks like. And then I'm super excited about this brand. I've never even heard of them before. Again, with the super cool packaging. How awesome is that? I love these boxes. They're so, or the containers are so cool. Okay, they also sent me the Enlight Superface Check Your Bags at the Door. These are hydrating and depuffing eye pads. They're supposed to uh, maintain skin moisture balance, counteract puffiness, minimize the appearance of dark circles. Well, how do you use them? You put them on your, your eyes for 10 to 15 minutes. They're just like little pads and they've got hyaluronic acid, cucumber extract, and caffeine. Those are cool. I'm super excited to try those. Those are, oh God, oh, oh my God. Our new bathroom guys in our new house is like heaven. And I am totally gonna stick those on my face in there. Okay, I also got the Enlight Super Face Liquid Acids Detoxifying Platinum Peel Off Mask. Glam Glow has one of these and it's so cool. This is supposed to um, target the visible signs of aging, improve skin luminosity, and deliver a healthy looking complexion. So this is what that looks like. This has collodial platinum, peptides, and malachite, malachite extract, malachite. I think it sounds better when you say malachite, to be honest. Then we have the Enlight Flawless Body Skin Like Butter. That's how it spells. Uh, visibly firms, provides a powerful dose of antioxidants, moisturizes, and softens dry skin. Let's give it a go. Again, with the cool packaging. These are so cool to just like have on your counter. I mean, you don't need decor. Just get some cute body products and you'll be fine and dandy. Let's try this one out. Cheeseburger. Okay, it looks quite thick. Oh, it's got a really nice fresh scent. It smells like flowers or something. Oh, it's nice. Oh my gosh, this feels really good. At first I was like, oh, this is gonna be so thick and it's not gonna melt into my skin, but it's thick, but then it almost feels like water, like it melts into your skin really nicely. It smells delicious. Okay, so that smells really good. I'm super excited to try that. I'll save the little top for the rest of my arm. This is the Flawless Body Hot Rock Revival Polishing Pumice Hot Body Scrub. This exfoliates dead skin cells, maintains moisture balance and conditions and protects. You guys know that I am like a super exfoliator because I self tan. Again, with the super cool packaging. This has got eucalyptus oil, argan oil, and algae extract. Ooh, baby. Let's smell it. Oh God, yes, that smells like eucalyptus. It smells so nice. And it looks like the scrubs are really small. They're not like big, huge, chunky ones, which sometimes the chunky ones are too much. They're like too intense. So again, super cool packaging because you can stack these on top of each other. Like how thoughtful are they? They're like, hey girl, look at this. I'm just stacking all my products up like a little tower. So those are so cool. I'm super excited to try those out, guys. Okay, Pixie sent me some new products. One of them is already packed up. Okay, so they sent me the 
Beauty Blush Duo. This is in the color Peach Honey. And it's this really gorgeous like blush highlight. Let me just swatch it so you guys can see. Look how pretty that is. So one's more pink and one is more golden. So that looks really gorgeous. I like how big it is as well. It's really like, I love when products are big because I feel like you can put your brush in there really easily. Okay, they also sent me the Makeup Fixing Mist with Rose Water and Green Tea, which is actually one of my favorite make, uh, face mists. I actually have another one of these and I've already used quite a bit of it, so I actually really do like this stuff, it's nice. Uh, they also have a Black Silk Lash Line Ink Liner. Look at that, that's really amazing. I mean, I never wear a winged liner anymore because my eyes are looking so hooded and old. They don't actually right now, but when I put winged liner on, they just don't look good on me anymore. I mean, sometimes you just gotta know when products or trends or whatever don't look good and it just doesn't look that good unless I keep it really small it always just looks bent and stupid so I used to wear it a lot when I was younger but nowadays it's a little harder to pull off but that does seem like a really nice pen so if you do like wing liner you'll probably like that um Bare Minerals sent me the Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream I have two colors one is actually in my bathroom downstairs because I do actually use it and then this is the color 6.5 and this is basically just a uh, hydrating gel cream that's tinted. So it has SPF 30, so this is really great for summertime. It's very similar actually to the Urban Decay, where is it? The Urban Decay One and Done. I feel like the Urban Decay One and Done is better for oily skin. It has a little bit more um, coverage, whereas the Complexion Rescue is better for dry skin. So if you are someone who has a little bit more, you need a little bit more hydration, but you still want a little bit of coverage, but a little bit of like dewiness to the skin, you would really like this and it has SPF 30 in it. Okay, Bare Minerals also sent me this gorgeous little translucent powder duo. So it looks like this and then you open it up and then one side is matte and then one side is glow. So basically you can use this one over here, the matte one, like under your eyes, um, basically anywhere that you'd want to set your makeup. And it is really nice. Like I use the NARS like loose powder, which is really great for filling in pores but I feel like this is really great. It's actually very similar to the NARS if you are traveling and don't wanna bring a loose product because they can be very messy. This is really nice for under the eyes, kind of like your smile lines, your wrinkle lines. It does, it does do a very similar job. The NARS is better, but for this, like keeping in your purse to touch up throughout the day, this is great. And then on this side, it has like a really pretty glow. So you can use it. It's like this most gorgeous white like sheen and it just gives you a little bit of a glow. So I've used it like under here. Um, if you get a little bit closer to the eye if you just wanna look extra glowy, but you can see on my skin how it just kind of glow glowed it up. I wouldn't recommend putting it on your forehead or like anywhere that you have pores because it does accentuate the pores um, with the glowy side. So I would keep it basically on the outside of your face wherever you don't have pores. Or if your forehead is perfect, then you could stick it on a little bit of your forehead to kind of give you a glow right here, but keep Keep uh, away from the pores if you have like big pores. So then Smashbox sent me some new mascara. So this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Lash, Photo Finish Lash Primer. This one feels like it's gonna stab you and eat your eye, eye, eyelash off. It has those like really stabby, like stabby wand. So I don't actually care for it. It did a good job with my lashes as far as like being a good lash primer, but the wand is really sharp and I don't like those kind of wands. Um, Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I think I've tried before and it wasn't my favorite. Let's take a look at the brush. I think I've used it a long time ago. I can't remember, to be honest. No, I think I have tried it before. I think it was good, but it wasn't like anything spectacular. It has a really big brush and I seem to remember it getting on my lid. Um, the Lash Box or Smash Box Indecent Exposure though is actually really nice. I do like this one. I used it in my tutorial. The velvet tip is just fabulous. I mean, really, can you get any more fancy? And then it has this really small little brush, so it's nice to get in the bottom. It did a really great job of lifting. Um, it was a nice mascara. It wasn't the most ex like, whoa, extreme lashes, but it was really good. And then the X-rated, uh, I don't actually think I like. I, can't, I, I seem to remember I used this and I was just kind of like, nah. It, the brush is like, Nah, it's okay. I don't think it did that much. It was just kind of like a good lash, but it wasn't extra good, if that makes sense. MAC has some new products. Uh, I don't actually like this one. This is the Gleam Tones powder. 
I don't know what collection this is from, but it's very cool as far as the um, the packaging goes. It reminds me of Sedona, Arizona, which is like one of my favorite places on earth. Uh, but the it's way too cool toned for me. You could use this as eyeshadows if you wanted to, but as far as like blush on my skin, it made me look really dead. It wasn't good. I do not do good with like cool tones, so for me it just wasn't pretty. But it looks really pretty in the packaging, and if you like cool tones, then you would probably like it. The packaging is pretty, but on my face, it was just not doing good. And then MAC, Chris Chang, MAC times Chris Chang. Look how beautiful that packaging is. It's like a lovely little geisha. Or is it a geisha? It looks very Asian inspired. I don't know. The lipstick itself is beautiful. Look how beautiful, it's like artwork on your lipstick. It's so pretty. And then it's just, the color is called Vermil Vermilion. Vermilion V. And it's a matte, like hot, orangey red lipstick. Really beautiful. Wow, it's so creamy as well. How beautiful that is, really pigmented. So I actually do like this, I think this is really pretty. Uh, the Estee Edit from Estee Lauder sent me some more stuff. So I have tried a few of their products and I gotta be honest, I liked their lip gloss, but the other products I was kind of like, mm, I don't know. Um, this is the Flash Illuminator from the Estee Edit. The color is Night Light 05. It's like this really gorgeous bronzy color. So it comes out looking really thick and you're like, oh God. But then when you put it on, it goes into your hand really nicely and it ends up being a very silky kind of like thin, very luminous um, product and it doesn't seem quite as thick as it does when it comes out. So you can see it just kind of gives you like a really very gentle glow. It's nothing super crazy. It's actually a lot like more sheer than it looks like in here. So just a nice like highlighter if you're a darker skin tone or if you just want to kind of a little bit of a glow to your tan, maybe underneath your foundation or something like that. So yes, that's that. Oh gosh, this is like all over the place. Um, okay, and then they also sent me another liner. This is the blackest liner. It's, I actually really like the packaging of it. It's kind of cool. It's like a marker and then that's what it looks like. And again, I really do like the, the tip of this. You can get a nice thick line. Um, you can also get a little, you can get a nice little point as well but it's actually really nice. I'm impressed with the liner. However, I just don't like the way winged liner looks on me anymore. I mean, it just makes me feel like old or something. It just doesn't look that good on me anymore. Um, and they also sent me the barest bronzer and this is humongous guys. When I first saw this, I was like, what? Um, so this is what the packaging looks like. It's really very big. It's really cool. And then on the bottom or the back, the fingerprint, sorry. It just says the barest bronzer and then you open it up and it's really really dark like this color is the color 02 medium deep I probably could have had a lighter shade but it has like this splotch of like shimmer which is so pretty and then it has the darker it's very reddish it's a very reddish tone it's not my color which is a super bummer because I don't know maybe they think I'm a lot darker <laughs> than I am because I feel like these two colors like I'm gonna I'm probably not gonna wear a whole lot I could be wrong but it just seems like it's much more suitable for a deeper complexion. And then this copper, oh, it's it's so beautiful if you're darker, but I think it's just too dark for me. I mean, I could play with it, but I haven't tried it yet. In this delightful little bag, this is um, from It Cosmetics. How cute is this? I love It Cosmetics, they're so cute. It says, It Girl. This is like the travel essentials. All of the little, they've made everything small so that, I mean, how thoughtful is this? Summer, you're gonna be traveling and they've made all these like cute little tiny things. So um, this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in a small little size. And I've actually used this concealer. It is actually really nice. I feel like it's a little bit more hydrating for what I need. So if you are someone who has dry skin, I think you'd really like this because it is a beautiful concealer. But I just got a little bit oily like around this area with it. Um, they also sent a tiny little full, full lash length three in one eyeliner, primer, and mascara. And it's just this like tiny little line. Uh, uh, I've been talking for like two and a half hours straight because I'm doing all my videos today. And I'm pretty much done talking, as you can tell. Okay, I haven't even tried this yet. <gasps> Look how tiny it is. It's so cute. You can just like really get in there. Oh my God, this is so cool. What a 
cool little doodad. It's like so little. So I'm super excited about this. This is so cool. Oh, they sent me a bunch of the under eye. These are all like different colors. They're so sweet. The cosmetics are always really thoughtful. They sent the Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil. This is, these are all travel size. Like how convenient are these guys? They're such geniuses over there. Um, and actually I have used this, this pencil. It is actually very nice. One side is the little spoolie and then one side is the actual liner and it's just like a retractable. So again, travel size, summer, amazing. They also sent a small size of the CC cream, which I know Summer, my friend, like wears all the time. She loves it. I've worn it a couple times and I felt like it didn't quite give me the coverage that I needed at the time because my face was cruddy and breaking out. But I feel like uh, when my skin finally decides to look good, then this would probably be a good option because it's SPF 50. So this would be really good to use in the summertime because it's got such a high SPF. And Summer seems to really love it. And it's a travel size. I mean, how cool is that? They sent me a Vitality Lip Flush Butter Gloss Lab Sample. This is in the color News Anchor Blue. I actually already have one of these, which is in Perfect Nude, which is a full size. I love it. It's the most amazing uh, formula ever. This one is blue. So I think it's just going to give you like a nice little kind of like little sparkle like it's pretty much clear when you put it on but it's supposed to make your lips look white or not your lips your teeth no tug waterproof gel liner again a super tiny little one it cosmetics you genius look how tiny and cute that is and ooh, that's really nice and pigmented so that's the liner also sent me the supercharged or sorry superhero elastic stretch volumizing mascara this is supposed to give you super volume super length super elastic stretch strength stretch i can't talk good it's got a brush it's not rubber so that's cool so i'm excited to try that i'll let you guys know how that goes and then last but not least they sent me a tiny little confidence in a cream this is a transforming moisturizing super cream. It's anti-aging and they sent me just a little one. Okay, and then Sigma sent me some new brushes, which I have not got new brushes from Sigma for so long, so I'm super excited. So this is the F57. Look how cool that is. This is for the emphasized contour. So dink, it fits right on in there. Then we have the chisel and trim contour. This is the F77. So this is for like putting your powder right here to stamp if you're gonna bake. Then we have the High Cheekbone Highlighter. This is the F03, so you can put that right there. Then we have the Soft Angled Contour. So this would be really good for like bronzer. So there's that, and then these are really soft. And then we have the Extreme Structure Contour F04. So this would be if you're like really trying to get in there right here, or maybe like, you know, wherever. So uh, loving or haven't tried them, but I'm excited to use them. They look really nice. They also sent me a lipstick. This is the In Spades Power Stick, which looks like that. So it's like a nice kind of like, it's like a coral nude. Um, they also sent me the Nymphea Aura Powder. This is a pink blush, nice for the summer. And then they also sent the Cor de Rosa Aura Powder, which is kind of like a nice coral. Yeah, it's like a really nice coral nude color. It's actually really pretty right there. So that's what they sent me. And then they also sent me one more thing. This is the dry and shape tower for face and eyes. I have no idea what it's supposed to be. I was gonna save it to, like to set up at our new house, but it's supposed to hold 44 brushes. And then when you wash them, like this is what it looks like. It's supposed to shape them so they don't get all mangled. So pretty cool. I'm not going to open it. I'm going to save it for our new house if you don't mind. Hopefully you don't. Oh, and then I also got a power crayon in Rubicund and that's what that looks like. And this is just a really nice, like very intense kind of rosy pink. And then I did show these already on Snapchat and in my Summer Essentials, but I got new bikinis from To Die For Swimwear, and they're so cute. I love the bottoms of them. The lace is just like underwear. It's so flattering on. They're so beautiful. So if you guys haven't checked out To Die For Swimwear, 
it's to die for. It's actually really, they have really cute bikinis, like super adorable. And those bottoms are really, really flattering. They do run a little small though, so keep that in mind. This is the May VIP Beauty Box from Heather Mariana. She is on YouTube, I believe, and she also has a website. But she like makes her own like beauty products. So inside of it came an aloe infused callus removing foot mask. And this actually made my skin peel and it says it was going to like the next day I was like what is going on with my foot it was peeling and it took all the dead skin off it actually worked amazingly and then it also came with a little shower poof poof a small one that's great for travel it also came with a sexy siren spa lotion mist it's got apple pear melon and vanilla and it's just a spray lotion and then it also came with a cucumber rose water toner and cool 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 cucumber. Oh, I can't even talk. Cool cucumber skin polish. Ooh, this is nice. So it's like little powder, and then you just I guess you just mix it in with like water and put it on your body. That's pretty cool. And it's all like natural stuff: organic sugar, rice bran oil, cucumber extracts, and Beauty Kitchen's cool cucumber blend. So she makes all this stuff. Like how cool is that? It's like all natural. It's gold eye gels. It's got glycerin, ella, ella gel, oh, I don't know how you say that word, hyaluronic acid, gold. It's supposed to put them on your eyes, and then you're supposed to deep up your eyeballs. Okay, guys, that's everything. This is the longest video of your entire life. My face is actually a little greasy now, so I'm going to show you how this stuff works, because I've gotten a little sweaty and hot from filming and talking for like five hours. Sorry, wow, I have been talking for so many hours. So basically, all you do is... Right on your face. It smells so good. And then I just whacked it. And it just takes away your grease. It's so good. Oh my god, I just love it. It's so amazing. Anyway, I'm going now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you spending like probably half an hour of your life to watch all this nonsense. Um, if there's anything specific that you would like me to review separately, please leave a comment down below and I would be happy to do that for you. Also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy these type of videos. Um, again, I don't want you guys ever to be like, look at all the stuff I got, I'm so cool. It's more like, hey, this is the stuff that's coming out and I just wanna share it with you guys so that you guys can see as well. Because I do think that there's some products that like you might not have known about, like this stuff. I'm so excited about the Enlight. I think it's really cool. So let me know if you guys do enjoy these videos because I do, I find them very helpful. So thank you guys. Don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Share with your friends. I'll see you in my next video. I'm gonna stop talking before I lose my voice. Bye guys. Thank you.